Before we build forms, let's tidy up the structures from the end of Lesson 4. Hi, this is Crystal. The music for this lesson is Melanie Fippard's latest hit, Malibu Barbie. Consistent with the naming of tables, remove the S from the ends of table names since they are prefixed. Like tracking fields, another field I often add is an active flag. The field name is isActive. The data type is Boolean, which is listed as yes-no. The default value will be true, which is minus one in access. In the contact categories table, Add a little c before a few of the fields to indicate a category for contact versus another type of category. Since the active flag will be added to other tables, copy it. Click in the selector box to the left of the field name to select the field definition. Press the shortcut key to copy. Advantage using this method is that you can copy multiple field definitions at a time. Go to the Design view of the Contacts table and paste the copied field. Also in the Contacts table, rename CAD ID to CCADIDC, which will be the default contact category. Down the road, we will add a cross-reference table so that contacts can be in more than one category. Each time a table design changes, adjust the Relationships diagram. Open the contacts table and look at the data. What is in the title field is really a job title. The field should be renamed so that it is more descriptive. Field name and description can be changed using the fields ribbon in the table tools group when looking at the data sheet view. A field will still be needed for salutation title, so cut the existing description to the clipboard. The reason we rename this field is because data is there. In the design view, the field name has changed as well to job title. Insert a field for salutation title. To be clear, call the field salute. Paste the description from the clipboard and modify. Use the datasheet view of the table to add information in the salute field. Default value only applies to new records, not existing records. So open each table where isActive got added and set to true for each record. If there were more records, it would be faster to use update queries to change the data. Collapse the ribbon and navigation pane to focus on the relationships diagram. Main forms and subforms will be designed according to the data structures. The main form will be based on the contacts table. There will be subforms to enter addresses, phone numbers, email addresses, and websites. Each contact can have a default category assigned, which will be collected using a combo box. Thanks for watching, and thanks to Melanie for sharing her music. Next time, we really will build a form. Data structure is an iterative process. Through sharing, we will all get better.